Hello, and welcome to your 55th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca, and tonight I want to talk to you about how to alter and drop views. Uh, I probably should have included this in my last tutorial, that where I began explaining what views are, and so on and so forth, but I didn't, so no big deal. Just one extra tutorial for you check out. Alright, so before we begin, what we're going to do is, let me close this up and assume that you're not there. Uh, go ahead and connect to an instance of SQL Server and then we're going to go to the databases folder. You're going to AdventureWorks 2012 and then you're going to the views folder. You're going to expand that and then you are going to go to dbo.bw employee information that was the view that we created in my last tutorial now we're going to right click on that we're going to design all right now that we're here at design we are going to scroll down here and then underneath title here under the column here and click on this and we are going to type in first name plus last name okay and then we are going over here to alias and then we're going to replace this with full name all right Good to go there. Um, you'll notice that as we just made that change to the column section, the P SQL section is updated as well, right here. See that? Well, actually, not yet because I have to hit. There we go. Now that I've hit enter, see, but we have this is all updated right here. All right. Now we're going to go up here to the save button and save this. All right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go back and grab this same query that we used before. Although we can just get rid of that, and we're going to go new query. We're going to execute this guy. Okay. Now that we've executed it. You'll now see full name column is added to the result set. Now, to drop the view, we're going to right click the dbo.bw employee information view in the object explorer and select delete from the context menu. The delete object dialogs will appear. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and go here, delete. Okay, and here is the delete object dialog box. Just as I said, we're just going to click OK. And that does it. So now you know how to alter and drop a view. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. Uh, in my next tutorial, I'm going to be covering creating indexed views. So, hope to see you there. Thanks for stopping by.